Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59pm on Tuesday, March 22nd in New York City, meaning one minute until the Wednesday crosswords. On yesterday's leaderboard, uh, eight seconds was enough. Then we had PB Geckner for the first time in a while. Big shout out to PB Geckner. Uh, then we had Murray Unicorn, The Glorp, Bill Boris, Kimball, E. Errol, and Lil Sun, all under 30 seconds. Then we had Kate God, Justin, A plus B, Joe Obi, Stickers, Panaguchi, Marks, Herman Chow, and Hoopla under one minute, followed by ME17 and my good old friend Jay. Professor Jay. Um, yeah, anyway, it is now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Wednesday crosswords, so here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Wish, uh, like, uh, Lincoln seats, hype, honey, cap, escape, pawns. All right, it was hype. Very excited. Yeah, that is definitely slang. Yeah. Wonka. I like Wonka. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Barb Rellin today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times gain subscription. Is today the first day of spring, or was it... <laughs> when is the first day of spring? It was very warm today. It was very nice. Uh... No. <laughs> first day of spring was... Sunday. All right. I was wondering if we might have some kind of theme like that, but no. We're already well into spring. All right. Let's uh, see what Barbalyn has in store for us. Let's get into it. Quite dry but sparkling. Um, cookouts, BBQs, CAD, Newton for one. How should I put this? All right. Swallow or duck? Just bird. BTS. IRA. Or that may be defined. Rule Schmuel, that's cute. This is true. With a chip on the shoulder and 47 strings. Harp. Arias. Relit. And prepares potatoes. Peels, that's cute as well. Volunteers. This is a itsy bitsy biter. A gnat or something? No? Maybe? Magazine. Uh, not sure. It's probably Asia? Ah, uh, probably flee then. Is this cola? Flip. Quick something. Set two here. Alright. Flop. Interesting. This is E file. Puree. Huffily, maybe? Matches up sinks. Place to play dodgeball. PE class. I see. This is going to be epic fail. Big flop. Big flip. Quick sail. This is deep in. Big flip. Big flop. Enlists. This is independent. Or just flip flop. Something sandal. Chenny in the house. Liz Chenny. Is that right? L here. Rock band. Something. This is Add a Lovelace. Piece of cake. And Verity Opera. Aida. Verboten. Taboo. Zoom window. Maybe chat. The hill. Yeah. Tactful. Casual sandal. Bonafide. Unit. And. Rue. And Puku. Eli Manning here. This is Neon. One of a pair. Maybe clip or clop. Or con. Side. Flip flop again. Polish off. Eat. Popcorn. Is it Azeri? I don't know. Oh, Aztec. I probably. Uh, big name of chips. Lays. The Beatles. Third shot for many. Bogey? Etch, fancy pillowcase is a sham. Listen. Good. Maybe 
Flop. I don't know what that is. Dr. Montgomery. Big Flip again. It doesn't buy, say, Rents. Single Bed is a twin. Cause for a run, maybe. Flare up. Okay, make a knot, knot, untie. Uh, education professional. Drink of Athens, where the cool kids go. A6 competitor, that was Avia and Nova. Cause for a run, and Andrew. Andrew Yang, or he might be Yang. Game day. Snag, like on your pantyhose, I guess. This is Eaton. Polling subject, opinion. Blank roll, loo roll, policy change. Uh, hark, I see. Big flop. Big flip. Less than right, acute. Food with a whole donut. Tutor. So do I. Uh, no, it's not Tutor then? Oh, ditto. Addison. Curved line over series notes is a slur. A dupa. And wordless agrees. Nod. Trod. Uh. Uzo. Is this also Uzo? In spot, coin toss. All right. I don't. I was reading this big flip and big flop, but I think it's just flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Right. You know, because Epic Fail is kind of a big flop, but I think it's just flop. So the, the theme is just flips and flops? Based on the fact that flip-flop can either mean a sandal or a policy change? I guess more often used to denote, like, a change of opinion on policy. down. In what sense is that flop? I would have gone for something in poker. Let's see what other flops we had available to us. There's also like the um, computing, the unit in computing. I see, just the black hair flopped across his forehead. That sense of plunk down. Flop down into an armchair. And there's also the basketball or sports notion of flopping. Yeah, the floating point operations per second. But they don't include the poker slang. The flop. Isn't that, is that a thing in poker? It is, right? The first three cards and hold them. I see. What other flips? do we have available to us? So the literal turn something over. Yeah, flip as in I'm gonna, my mom's gonna flip. Buy and sell. Yeah, I'm not really sure why this is a worthy of a crossword theme. It's an interesting way to clue these things, but I don't really get it. I don't really get it. Uh, I did like the cluing though. Quite dry but sparkling. So this clue is just a it's a classification for champagne, right? Maybe I should just try wine. Sparkling wine, I guess. Sweetness level of sparkling wine originated with champagne in France. Winespectator.com Brute, apparently. It's a type of sparkling wine. 
referring to a style based on how sweet it is. It's not very sweet. Quite dry, but sparkling. Yeah. E file. Whenever they started, the IRS started allowing you to e file is really a boon to crossword constructors. Uh, <laughs> I like metonyms in general. Shout out to Liz. Got Liz in the puzzle. Actually, several Liz's that I know. Yeah, add a Lovelace as opposed to calling it as American Dental Association, which I prefer personally. I don't know Addison Montgomery, but it's a gettable name. I was right about Sham. I like the clue on untie, make a knot, knot. You could have clued this, make a knot, not a knot. I think that's actually better, but <laughs> that's just my own, my own thought. We have Uzo crossing Uzo, this Z here. Um, although, I, that's a tough crossing, honestly. I mean, both these are quite famous, although I, I didn't remember. <laughs> I don't really remember either one of them, to be honest, but that's a tough crossing. Was Andrew Yang. BBQ's Rue. Yeah, Dynamite's about the only BTS song I know. Um, it really has a way of getting stuck in your head, though. Prepares Potatoes, I think that's cute. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't overly easy, I'll say. We got a Z we got Z here. Got some uncommon letters. Clog. That was a clop like clip and clop. But is this referring to the shoe? Mule family? Or is this something else? What are the <laughs> What is what are the definitions of mule other than the animal? There's a drink. There is a courier of illegal drugs. Maybe it's just I don't know the definition of clog that's being used. I was thinking it's the shoe. Oh, it's an encumbrance. I guess. Something clogging things up. Wait, but one of a pair. So it has to be the shoe. So a mule is a kind of shoe? <laughs> I don't know anything about... Okay, a, a mule shoe. Clogs versus mules, I see. I, um... My, my shoe knowledge is weak. <laughs> but there's this picture here that says clog versus mule. Alright, that... That's clever. It's, a, it's beyond my ken, but it's clever. Third shot, that's, uh... Very much, this is a very, very much a COVID-era shot, uh, clue. Because oftentimes boosters would be second shots. Roll, I actually knew that. Yeah, because Novas are up in the sky, at least for us. Yeah, not not overly easy. I don't really get why this is a crossword theme, but it's definitely some some challenge to this one. I thought this was a pretty challenging Wednesday. And I think the time bore that out. This is a pretty slow Wednesday for me. Um leaderboard for tomorrow, we've got stickers, the old crossword stalwart, as well as Cape God in 25 seconds. Nice to see you both. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.